Welcome uh, back to the garage. Um, <clears throat> I've put the roof on temporarily and I'm going to do the fiberglassing today uh, and get the fiberglass roof made. I've been shopping for a few bits and bobs. Um, just before I set up to do that, I'm going to set up my steamer um, and get another piece of wood on the go so that that's, uh, that's got an hour to steam and then I'll put it in my form like the last video but today it's mainly fiberglassing uh, for those of you that have never done it before welcome to the club this is my first time I've watched a couple of videos and we'll just see how it comes out so stage one Vaseline I'm told is a perfectly good uh, release agent for the mold so I'm Vaseline the whole roof I don't need the, uh, the the finish to be perfect on it because it's getting covered all I need is the shape so luckily for me I've so I've just fiberglass um, Vaseline the whole roof with some extra I've gone over the top because I will go extra and then I'll cut it back to where I need it a uh, bit of explaining to do. Yesterday, battery went flat and I could not get my phone to charge at all. So I missed uh, actually applying the glass fibre. But I'll do a brief explanation. Uh, first of all, layer of, um, of glass which comes as a matting. And then on top of that, resin and then glass and then resin and glass and just layer it up there's four layers here and then after that i put a sheet of uh, polythene over the top as you can see and then i just roll it and roll it and roll it until i got rid of all the air out of the actual glass and you can see that there is air there but that's under the polythene so hopefully you can see it's all the same color it's all uniform hopefully uh, there might be one or two might be one or two bits that isn't but hey ho that was my first attempt I'm gonna crack it off and um, uh, I'm gonna do that with an airline get an edge and then uh, blast a load of air underneath it but I need my compressor to fill up and then we'll see how we got on but it's done it's rock solid uh, I've now got to split it off the roof and hopefully all that Vaseline has done the job uh, sorry you missed the rest of the video, but you know shit happens off the form very easily uh, and I've got to get off the uh, the metal of the roof hopefully that's as easy as well I'll just put this phone down and I'll uh, I'll find an edge and I'll get it off actually that was way easier than I thought it was going to be there you go form separated from the roof as I say there's lots of extra material um, it seems really quite sturdy I'm very happy with it uh, I am going to put something on the inside there to stiffen it up and that will match the roof that's inside so as I say this is getting covered in vinyl I will sand it down a little bit it will look a bit nicer than it does but that's my first go at fiberglassing and uh, that's come out right that's actually it's all the paint off but there you go um, I'll show you trimming that up next job louvering this roof which will get done today as well
Okay, yeah, I've, uh, I've pretty much sanded off all the uh, paint and, uh, and now I'm going to mark it out with the tape again. This gives me a standard two inch width. So starting from the front, I'm going to miss two inches and then work my way back. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll leave the pattern as a bit of a surprise and then um, I'll uh, get cutting and then get sliding them all. Um, louvers, they don't actually take that long to do but it is a bit of labour intensive so I'm going to get on with that. I don't know how many louvers it'll be, probably a hundred or something but uh, give us ten minutes of marking out time and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. There you go, this is, whoop, keep that over. This is the front and the louvers are scalloped in that direction and there's a lot of them, there's a lot. It is the world's biggest cheese grater uh, and that's going on the roof up there. So we'll see how that goes. So all of these scallops there, obviously the air is going this way as it goes up. So it's not coming into the vehicle, it's just a hump. And then the same on the roof, the scallops this way, it's not coming into the vehicle, it's just a hump. So all the way down the car there'll be humps uh, from the front, from the back there'll be slots. Uh, if I did happen to have an accident and a deer jumped out in front of me, he wouldn't end up inside the cab completely shredded. Um, he'd just end up bouncing off the top. So that's what I've done. And I'm going to start cutting these now with the disc cutter. Right, I've just cleaned off just cleaned off all the tape which isn't that easy considering most of it gets muddled and burnt and whatever when you're disc cutting so that's all cleaned off and now back to louvering tool again got louver every single one of these holes in the right direction of course so uh, I'm going to set myself up now on the floor on the anvil and get some of them done And there's, uh, there's the first couple of rows done. Louvers, uh, I'm getting better at them, I think. Coming out straighter and neater. Um, it is labour intensive. I am knackered. It's the end of my day. I'm going home for some dinner. And I'll come back Monday and do the other 206 or whatever it is. <laughs> Um, that's it for this video, hope you don't mind watching and uh, I'll crack on with it next week, get this finished, get the other one finished. Um, I have got another piece of wood that I bowed earlier, that's setting up now, um, the rest of them should be done within the next couple of days, 
So I'll leave you with that. Louver in the roof. Thank you very much. See you later. Giant cheese grater roof. Louvered from the back. Oh, I'm so happy with that. So I've got a little bit of work to do to get it, massage it to get it just right, but louvers done. It's about 170 something louvers.